Now that all the new phone hype is starting to settle down, I wanted to take a moment and look at some new upgrades and changes that came to Google Assistant with the launch of the Pixel 8 series. For what I've seen so far, they're pretty useful and should eventually be coming to last year's devices. So in the meantime, let me show you real quick what those new features look like and talk about some changes that you might not even have noticed. And I think we should start with the newly released AI Summarize feature built right into Google Assistant. This has been a huge talking point amongst a lot of reviewers out there, and basically, you can use Google Assistant to summarize web articles on your behalf. You can access this by pulling up the Assistant and giving it the Summarize command, or tapping on the Summarize contextual chip when it appears. I find it takes a few seconds to run the algorithm, and once completed, you normally get three bullet points with the most important aspects of the article and a section to submit feedback if something seems wrong. I tested it throughout a wide variety of articles, from gaming to tech news to politics, and nothing seemed out of the ordinary. I did notice health articles do not get the summarized feature as confirmed by Google support page, as well as some other requirements like how the article needs to be in English, at least more than 200 words, and needs to be indexed by Google. Overall, the feature works pretty well in my opinion, especially if you're susceptible to headline bait or even worse, you open a web page with a billion advertisements on it. So it's nice to let the summary feature do all the hard work. Read Aloud is the next Google Assistant feature that we need to talk about. Technically, it isn't new as it's been around since at least 2020, but with the Pixel 8, it received an overhaul that has not come to previous models yet. To access this, you just need to use the read this command within the assistant or just tap on the contextual chip when it appears. If you're using the Pixel 8 series, you should see a new card style media player that appears at the bottom of the web page, whereas the Pixel 7 opens everything into a new UI. Overall, the functionality is the same, so you can control the playback speed, scrub through the audio, and even translate text into a different language. Clearly, the aim here was to have a cleaner, more seamless interface, which I am totally here for. One last thing I should mention is, Read Aloud also works when the screen is off. This means you could technically pop open an article, turn on Read Aloud, and treat it kinda like a mini podcast. So if that sounds like something you'll use, I would definitely give it a try. This next Google Assistant update is really meant for those brand new to the Pixel experience with a mini overhaul to the how to update my phone command. Truthfully, I didn't even know this prompt existed, but if you ask Google Assistant how to update your phone, you will now be given an in-depth guide with explanations on what the differences are between a system, security, and Play Store update with instructions on how to initiate them. On top of that, if you scroll to the last card in the interface, there's direct access to the Pixel phone and chat support lines for those that need that extra help. Obviously, the hardcore Android users won't need to use this too often, but for those brand new to the Pixel ecosystem, you should find that it's much easier to switch over and much easier to get the information you're looking for through this new command. Call screening is another Google Assistant powered feature that got some big changes with the Pixel 8. Google says the updated call screening feature will now reduce spam calls by an additional 50% has a much more natural sounding voice model with inflection and some form of human hint in the tone, with the biggest change being the new assistant will probe callers as to what the purpose is for their call and then relay that information to you before you decide to answer it. And to show you what I mean, let me give you a quick demo. Hi, I'm a virtual assistant recording this call for the person you're trying to reach. Before I try to connect to you, can I ask what you're calling about? I'm dropping off a package. Okay, one last thing before I transfer you. Can I ask who I'm speaking to? United States Postal Service. Okay, let me try to get the person you're trying to reach on the line. Sorry, they can't take the call right now. Have a great day. As you can see, the voice sounded natural. It relayed the information in a little notification at the top of my screen, and from there, you can decide if that call's worth taking. It's a great progression of the feature, but coming later in a feature drop, there will be an update that gives you contextual responses while the screening is happening. So let's say you don't wanna answer the call, but you still wanna take action on the request. Google Assistant will give you some relevant options to respond with based on what the call says. Like I said, that contextual response feature isn't live yet, 
but should be within a feature drop sometime in the near future. Last but not least, I wanted to cover the final update to Google Assistant, which is really just some quality of life changes that you should at least be aware of. It's nothing crazy, but Google says the Assistant is much faster now. In my testing, I can't consistently replicate that, and I find that statement to be true maybe 40% of the time compared to my Pixel 7. Otherwise, I find Assistant on par or sometimes still a little slower for some reason, so just keep that in mind. Google also improved the language model by being more likely to ignore human error when giving commands like long pauses or general stammering in between commands. And the assistant can now automatically detect and switch to the language you're speaking to when using Gboard voice typing. At the end of the day, what we have here are some smaller changes that slowly put some extra power into Google Assistant. It's nothing crazy for now, but just enough to make it feel more fun to use, especially with that summarized feature. Sometime in the future, we are getting Bard integrated into Google Assistant, so just keep an eye out on the channel for that. But otherwise, guys, let me know what you think of the changes to Google Assistant. Are you happy with them so far, and is there anything missing that you would have liked to see? Leave a comment and let me know, but either way guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.